All right, welcome everybody to month two of Ignite the Iron. We are so excited to be together again. And yes, I'm an old person and I am in bed. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and pray over us. And then Chastity is going to be leading us tonight. We um, decided that we're going to do things a little bit differently. We're going to be splitting up. I know last month we did um, everybody together. Um, but moving forward, we split up months. Um, so it's just going to look a little differently. However, we feel um, needs to be, you know, spoken on or trained on. Um, we'll just be basing it off of that uh, moving forward. So like I said, Chastity is going to be running with it tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and open us up in prayer. Dear Lord, I'm coming to you this evening. I'm asking that you would watch over every single soul that is on this training. Lord, you have brought us all together here for a purpose. And for a reason, I ask that you would watch over and uh, bless whatever it is that Chastity has put together, Lord, that you speak through her to whoever needs to hear it, and that you would just watch all over all of us and our businesses, bless us, and um, multiply our efforts, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, guys, I am so, so excited to be here with you all, and thank y'all for tuning in today or tonight, whatever you want to call it, for Ignite the Iron. Um, I'm going to go over what iron stands for again, because I really want to make sure that like during this whole program, we're like really encompassing that all of our groups are working together and we're really standing behind the meaning of iron. So the I stands for Ignite Your Leadership in Business with Passion, Having Grit with Whitney's People. R, refined by the fire, we are warriors um, with Anya's people. Um, o for original, shine the light within you. There's only one you for my people. And then noble, honorably walking in faith as you lead. So that is just what we all truly believe in, what we want this whole leadership program to be guided through um, and to just really stay centered on that. So our focus for February is focus, February focus. I love a good alliteration, um, you know, the whole teacher and me, but February focus, because we really need to get focused on our own businesses, um, our own businesses. So February focus, there is no better time than today to get real focused. Um, something that I say in my classroom to my kids, especially when they're not paying attention. I'm like, hocus pocus. And they have to say, everybody focus. And I feel like I need to say that to my team sometimes. So I want to be like, hocus pocus. And they, everybody repeat back, hocus pocus. We're, or, um, everybody focus. We're booking parties. We're sponsoring. We're doing all the things. So we are going to focus this month. Um, and then I'm also going to be like dropping some truth bombs with the word ignite because once again, our program is Ignite the Iron. But I want to tell you, before we get started, I want to tell you five truths about your business. Mindset will make or break you. It's everything. Hands down, period. Whether you believe you can or whether you believe you can't, it matters. 1,000%, especially when it comes to this business. The key to any business is to have a good mindset or to, if you're working in a regular job and you're wanting to climb the ladder, you have to have a good mindset to be successful. But when you're in a business like us, when you're with Cincy, there's no limit. The sky is the limit. The limit does not exist. Like Mean Girls quotes for life. The limit does not exist. There's no limit on what you can achieve. There's no limit on the amount of income that you can earn. There's no limit on the amount of freedom that you can get. There's just no limit except for you. You are the only thing that can continue to hold you back. Your mindset is everything. And trust and believe Chastity's inner bitch is so mean. And she is so mean to her all the time and tells me all the bad things. So you have to get your mindset under control. Um, and especially in this business, you're going to have to work really hard no matter where you work or no matter what you do. But when you work really hard here, you're going to get a reward for working really hard 
and you're actually going to get paid for it. Unlike going and working at as a teacher and busting my butt all day long and then coming home and doing a million other things at home as well, I'm only getting paid for my hours, my contract hours. And everybody knows teachers are working way more than their contract hours. But with Sensi, you are going to get out what you put in. The effort that you put in is what you're going to get out. If you treat it like a hobby, you're going to get paid like a hobby. If you treat it like a business, you're going to get paid like a business. Is that going to happen overnight? Absolutely not. But can it happen for you? Yes. There's room for everybody at the top. Number two, not having enough time is not true. That's a choice. Every single person has the same amount. Everybody has the same 24 hours as Taylor Swift. If jet lag's a choice, then everything else is a choice too. Okay. Not having enough time is just fake news. Quality over quantity. It's harder to work when you don't have a full-time job. I'm just going to be real honest with you. I mean, and I know that sounds like a really not nice thing to say, but I work, I have such a hard time working compared to when I was so busy that I couldn't even function. And I know that sounds silly, but I had no choice but to get it done. Now I can make excuse after excuse. So not having enough time is all in your head. If it's important to you, you'll make the time. Number three, um, your success is up to your habits, period. Your habits are going to make or break you. Whether you have a good habit or a bad habit, doesn't matter. Your success is up to your habits. You can read books on it. You can look up statistics, all the things. James Clear um, wrote a book on habits. It's really great. I probably need to go back and read it because I'm not doing so great at my habits right now. Um, your success is up to your habits. Number four, distractions kill your time, period. How many times do you pick up your phone just to scroll for no reason when you're not even thinking about it? 17 million times a day. How many times are you just watching something on Netflix when you could be following up with customers, right? Distractions kill your time. That all goes back to number two. And number five, which I think is one of the most important ones because I have to remind myself of this. You can't do this business alone and get to the top. If you want to grow a big business, you can't do your business alone, period. You may want to do it alone because you don't like people like me sometimes. However, if you want to build a big business, you've got to bring the people with you. You've got to bring the people with you. And the more people you bring with you, the more people you bless, the more you will be blessed. And I hope that everybody that ever listens to any of my recordings know that I don't really hate people. I just get really, really exhausted and I'm really empathetic <laughs> and I really want the best for everybody and I want everybody at the top, but I just get really, really, really drained when I'm around a lot of people. Yes, so Martha said, if you wanna go fast, go alone, but if you wanna go far, you have to go together great quote from world tour. So I just wanted to open it up with that. Now I want everybody to know that this is a safe place. No one's ever going to post the chat and I won't repeat anything crazy. Um, but I want you to tell me in the chat how you are truly and honestly feeling about your business right now. What season are you in? Are you thriving? Are you barely surviving? If you picked a word for the year, are you still living by it? Tell me how just let it out on me, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so growing, treading water, struggling, but things are turning around, tired, pushing through, trying to survive, surviving much better than you have been pushing through the hard, like growing. I, I mean, I, and I can, I want you guys to read those and I want you to realize that you're not alone. Number one, you are not alone. So know that, um, transition, always trying to improve and feel like I'm getting, yes. Like, and that's doing bold things and having faith, pushing through. Okay, good. I just want to make struggle bus in my life. Like I get it. My life is, I'm, I should work at the bus depot of the struggle bus. Um, so I want you to know, however you're feeling, it's okay. And your feelings are valid. 
Oh, someone said comfortable not growing. That's that's a good one to admit. Your feelings are valid and it's okay that you feel that way. You can see that you're not alone. You can see that you have others to lean on. The entire reason why we put these our groups together was because we find so much value in each other. Whitney, Amber, Ray, Katie, all of us, none of us are like most of us are not in each other's lineages. They're, so I don't get paid on any of these people. And it's not even about the money, but like we are not in each other's groups. We didn't sponsor each other. And that has been something that is so, so valuable to find your people in Cincy that aren't necessarily on your team. And trust me, it, take, it may take a long time and you may go through some crazies, but you do need to find your people. Okay. But I wanted to say we all go through seasons in our business. There are seasons every year. There, there are going to be seasons in your business. There's going to be seasons of exhaustion. There's going to be seasons of extreme success. There's going to be seasons of extreme lows and extreme failures or failures that you believe that you failed. There's going to be seasons where you just feel like you're being there, just like hanging on by a limb, treading water. But all of those things are just seasons. It's just a season. And you have the ability to change those things. So now that we've admitted how we feel, now that we've admitted how, you fe how we all feel, I want you to tell me what do, in the chat, what do you want out of this business? What's your goal paycheck or what's a goal that you want to accomplish by doing this? Um, it doesn't even have to just be about money. Something, any type of goal that you want from this business that you haven't achieved yet. What do you want? The limit does not exist, y'all. Like there's literally nothing you can say that's crazy unless you say you want to be like Ted Bundy or something. But like, okay, good. Growth, since you being my only job, pay for my kids to go to daycare, make it my full-time job help everyone get to where they want to be with their paychecks, grow consistent paychecks to pay off debt. Yes, consistent paychecks. Good. Build a strong foundation for my business. I love that and grow from there. Um, help others do the same, bless others with business. So I want you guys to also realize that even if you don't have goals of wanting to quit your job, I never wanted to quit my job, guys. Never wanted to, probably shouldn't have. Not doing great over here. Um, I never wanted to quit my job. That was never my goal. My goal was never to retire my husband. I will murder him. It won't happen. We will never work together. He can never work for me. He can't even come in this office. It's not happening. He get, He is a great delivery man. He's a great delivery man. And he, anytime we are on a Scentsy trip, he is the husband that leads us and does the things. But besides that, he ain't touching anything. And I like it that way. This is mine. Okay? And... That's okay. Some people want to work with their husbands. I don't understand. But like that is okay. Whatever it is you want, it's yours. It's yours. And I want you to own it. Because now that you've said that, we have to get laser focused. We're getting back to that word. We're getting laser focused on what matters. Okay? Focusing on what matters. In the beginning, I'm going to start off by sharing just like the baseline, the minimums of where you can start as a leader. No one starts at the top. No one starts off doing all the things. It's You have to grow. You have to build up. You have to learn what you're doing, et cetera. And then I'm going to share with you the two by two by two rule that can absolutely fundamentally change your life and change your business if you do it correctly, consistently, without excuses, focusing on the right things and all of that. We don't care whether which one it is that you want to do. We're here to support you and pull you up either way. But we're here to run with the runners and we're here to support the ones that want to be here just because they want to make an extra $500. Chastity just wanted to, I don't know what I wanted to do. Honestly, I was just chilling over here, having a good time. And then all of a sudden it turned into something that I never could have imagined because life can change in an instant. 
So you never know what you're building for. I had no idea that my life was going to be turned upside down one day. And thank God I have this to look back on. Okay. So only you get to decide which way you want to go. To ignite, here's one of my quotes. To ignite your life, you must focus on one thing long enough for it to catch fire. To ignite your life, you must focus on one thing long enough for it to catch fire. I mean, how many people have like stared at some not nice person and wanted them to catch on fire because you're focusing on them so hard? I know I've stared at my husband and wanted him to catch on fire before, right? But focusing on something, one thing long enough to catch fire, consistency. Focus and consistency on the things that matter. Focusing on what matters most. The basics of this business are never going to change and they haven't changed. They are the exact same as they as they were the day that Cincy opened its doors. They are never going to change. This business is simple. Everybody else makes it hard. Everybody else makes it complicated. The basics of this business is never going to change. You want to know what you need to do? I'm going to tell you. You need to get fragrance under people's noses. We are a fragrance company, guys. You need to get fragrance under people's noses and not sit behind your computer or your phone. Okay? You've got to get fragrance under people's noses. I know you got to talk to people. It's way too people out there, but you got to do it. Number two. You have to talk, network, and connect with people. Exactly what Amber just said. Talk, network, and connect with people. There's a quote somewhere, and I don't know exactly what it was, but it was something along the lines of networking will get you into rooms before a college degree ever will or something like that. I can't remember. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But knowing people, knowing people means a lot. Who you know, who you know, who you know is a lot. Word on the street is a lot. People go to Facebook to ask honestly about who Joe Mama's cousin's fighting with today, but they also go and ask for recommendations. Do you think they don't talk about the sensey lady that don't get them their order? Do you think they don't talk about how ratchet you be talking about whatever it is you be talking about? I don't want to offend anybody. Like, Think about that. Talk, network, and connect with people. I want you to be you. Listen, I am the absolute poster child for being you. But you just have to be okay with the consequences of those things. But talking, networking, and connecting with people. And then number three is providing solutions to their problems. No, those probably aren't the three things y'all really thought I was going to say. Y'all thought I was going to say PRV sponsoring, blah, blah, blah. But providing solutions to their problems. Everybody has a problem and Sensi is the solution. Period. Hands down. Everybody has a problem and Sensi is the solution. Whether that is a stinky mom car. Whether that is a um, awful diaper, diaper genie and they need a travel twist whether that is they need some extra grocery money right now because Jesus, Lord, I pay like $300 a, a week for groceries. I don't know, even know what's happening. Whether it's they don't have any friends and they need an outlet and they just want to have people to hang out with. Whether they want a discount, whether they just really enjoy fragrance and they love making memories or they love some people. I've had some people join because they really love to give back to the community and they do fundraisers on their own. Everybody has a problem and Cincy is a solution. Obviously, don't be sleazy, but Cincy solves every problem. We make every we make products that people use every single day better. Period. You know, we do. And if you don't know that, go out and use them. Or if you don't necessarily believe that about a certain product, don't promote it. I don't if I don't believe something or if I think like, I'm going to keep my opinions to myself about something. But if I think that, you just, you choose what to promote. You need money, you join the business. 
you need a discount, join club. All the things. Okay. So I said this before, no one starts out at the top. It takes time to build up. So if you want to start at the baseline, you can start small. You set monthly goals. Okay. I know a lot of y'all are thinking, well, what kind of monthly goals do I need to set? Um, tell me in the chat if y'all went to the world tour. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, most of y'all did. Okay, perfect. So y'all already kind of know what I'm talking about. But for anybody that ended up watching the recording, I didn't even write that part down. So I'm going to look at my phone to tell y'all what the numbers were. So the baseline goal for basically what they were saying is that you needed new customers. You needed new customers, but you set your monthly goals. Two parties a month. If you can have two parties a month, four customer orders per party, one new customer per party, and sponsor one new consultant. Okay? And I skipped over, I didn't talk about, um, I'm talking about leadership stuff. I didn't start at the back. So you have to have your 500 PRV. You want one new customer per party. And you need at least two parties per month. That's probably going to get you your bare minimum. Okay. That's going to get you your bare minimum for your 500. Um, but I want you to know this. You still are going to have to ask for referrals. Because your funnel, the people coming into you, into your life and out of your life is always revolving. Your lo loyal customers, sorry to break it to you, but all they're doing is maintaining your business. Your loyal customers are not growing it. They're not, unless they are partying and giving you all the people and bringing all those new people in every single time they party, your loyal customers are just maintaining your business. They're not growing it. So you are still going to have to continue to keep sowing seeds, keep planting, keep planting. We plant all year round around here. I'm not, a, I can't grow a dang thing, but I know that in this business, we got to keep planting. You got to keep planting. You got to keep watering. You got to keep doing all the things. You got to keep nurturing those seeds. Because if you don't, you will have a drought from hell. You will have no new customers. You will have no new recruits if you're wanting to recruit anybody. You will have no club orders. You will be complaining all the time because you will say, nobody wants to do this. Nobody wants to buy. Nobody wants to do that. Bull S-H-I-T. There are new people being born every single day. There is not a limited number of people. There is a limited number of people in your circle. You haven't gone out and met them yet. And listen, Chastity preaches to herself right now too. Like I'm not up here acting like I'm holier than thou. Your girl needs to get out and meet some new people too. And I know that. Um, but you got to do it a lot. You've got to consistently do that. Um, you cannot only just sow two seeds and expect a big harvest. You can't just be putting two pumpkin seeds down and get a whole dang field of pumpkins. You've got to keep on sowing them. The 80-20 rule, um, it's like the 80-20 rule. 80 people are going to, or 80% is actually going to pay attention to what you're saying. 20 is going to completely ignore you. But if you have to, you have to continue to plant seeds every single day for your business to keep on growing. If you want to know what the successful people are doing or the successful people in this business, they are partying. They are meeting new people. They are sponsoring. They are getting off of social media and getting fragrance in people's noses. It does, if you want to continue to build a business that is sustainable and long-term, you can never stop doing those things. Does that mean you have to work as hard, head to the ground for an ever, forever and ever and ever, amen? No, there's seasons in our businesses. Remember, we've already talked about that. But if you want a big business, you can't stop doing that. You've got to continue to talk to the people, okay? Um, this is what I was going to share y'all share with y'all. So I'm going to, you guys have probably seen this before. I wonder if I can, let's see. 
Most of y'all probably use Canva. I'm just going to share the template in here. And it's the monthly five by five. And I'm just putting it in the chat right now so that I know that I shared it with you guys. All right. And so, like I said at the beginning of the call, habits make or break your business, period. Raise your hand if you have a camera on, if you have a hard time staying consistent sometimes, just not even in your business, just in life. I have real good, plan, real good plans at night. And then in the morning, I'm like, doesn't happen, right? Consistency is everything in this business, though. And the only person that can hold you accountable is you because you're your own boss. Um, but the monthly five by five, this is basically something I didn't come up with this. I'm not really sure who did, but they're pretty genius. But you can work 30 minutes a day, five days a week, 52 hours a year. Honestly, these things aren't really even going to take 30 minutes. But if you do these five activities five days a week and you can con commit to that and you can continue to do that consistently, that is going to show up in your business. The key word here is consistently. So build connections with five people. Five. I did have that on my list. Connect with daily five. I always connected with five people every single day. I was really, really great about that when I was teaching. And there's a little check boxes. It looks like this. Y'all can see my screen. I shared it with y'all and I'll share all the other stuff later. This is a whole month's check sheet. Um, one hoster join conversation. One product share on social media, follow up, and 10 minutes of personal development. I can promise you, if you do those five things, five days a week, and you continue to do it, not just one week, <laughs> you've got to con consistently do it, you are going to see growth. You may not see it overnight, but you're going to feel better about your business. You are going to feel confident you are going to really get that dopamine rush when you get to check off this little list. Why? Because this is very easy. This is very simple. And it's absolute. Are you going to have to do other things in your business as a leader? Yeah, absolutely. But look at that. Look at how simple that is. Please don't tell me you don't have time. We can get those things done. Those are the bare minimum that you need to do. Because at the end of the day, I'd be seeing all these people like labeling all their new catalogs and printing out all the things and doing their sticker sheets. And y'all, we still got a lot of days left. We still got a lot of days left. And I am mm -mm, not yet. I mean, I might be doing some of that on the fly. Like when nobody's, I'm not sharing that with everybody, but I'm working for the rest of February still because you got to focus on what you can do right now. Anyway. I'm getting off of um off track. So focus on action. This right here is action. This is an actionable task. This is not sitting in your office making samples. This is not sitting on Canva. This is not scrolling social media. This is an action that you can do five days a week. And that is going to consistently give you more results. Because if you continue to connect with five people, please don't pick the same five people. Don't be dumb. Like, don't be dumb. Go find new people to connect with. Okay. Um, work ethic is going to write your paycheck. The harder you work, the more money you make. Your work ethic is going to write your paycheck. The harder you work, the more money you make. And now I'm going to talk to you guys about the most amazing rule I've ever heard. It's the two-year plan. And I, um, I have always just called it the two by two by two, but Jen Audette, who is the most absolute amazing human. If you haven't met her, she's just such a light. She is an amazing SSD who I just wish was my mom sometimes. And she came up with this rule. I have no idea even when she came up with this rule a long time ago, but I'll never forget when I heard it. And I'll never forget when she was speaking and training what I heard. And I'm about to tell you what she told us. I'll never forget it. And that is what I did, guys, to build my business to be able to walk away from teaching. That is what I did to build my business as Superstar Director. I put my head down. I got my blinders on. I focused on action. I did the two-by-two-by-two, two two two, and I got that shit done. 
because I had goals to make. I had goal. I had big dreams and goals. I still do. But that is what I did. Okay. I'm going to tell you what that is in a minute. I'm going to tell um, income disclosure here. Okay. This isn't even my income, but let me just say that. So Jen Aldette is going to, she is telling some stats. Okay. In November of 2008, and Jen Aldette at the time was, she had kids, young kids in school. She was a teacher. Her husband was working all the time. She had 23 home parties in one month. So please don't say you don't have time. Jen Aldette is a monster and she still works like this. Well, not 23 home parties, but she still sponsors and sells and does all the things. She had 23 home parties and her commission was about $2,300, okay? And so she started thinking like, I can never just outsell. I am working my tail off and working my tail off and burning at both ends. I can sell and sell and sell and sell and sell, but I am never going to be able to make that much wealth or I'm not going to be able to build longevity and build wealth without building my team. And so what she did was she followed the two-year plan. After that, um, in 2008, she made $2,300. She followed the two-year plan. This is the two by two by two. 2,000 PRV a month, two new recruits for two years, and you teach them to do the same thing. 2,000 PRV a month, two new recruits for two years, and you teach them to do the same thing. Of course, there were months that she sponsored more than two. Of course, there were months maybe she didn't sponsor two. It ebbs and flows. Of course, there were months she sold more than 2,000 PRV. Just like when I was doing this, there were months where it ebbed and flowed. One month I may have sponsored seven because it was a joint special. The next month I only sponsored two. But you get the point. But I couldn't just do that, sponsor them and leave them alone. You've got to teach them to do the same thing. And the reason why you have to sponsor two new people every every month is because over half of the people that join you are not going to do anything. I can look up the statistic. I, I don't have it right off the off top. But over half of the people that join you are not going to do anything. It's going to take you, it's going to take a lot of searching and a lot of numbers for you to find your runners, for you to find your one percenters. But guys, it only takes one person to completely change your business. One. One person to join your team to completely change it. OK, so in November of 2008, 23 home parties, twenty three hundred dollars. November of 2009. She had two home parties and she had been sponsoring and following that two, two, two by two by two. And she made $11,000 that month. So she went from $2,300 to $11,000 in a year. Okay. The next year, she had four home parties in that November, a few events. She was sponsoring, doing her sponsoring stuff. Her paycheck was over $25,000. Like, let that sink in. In one month, guys. Not a year. One month. $25,000. It's not made up. It's real life. That is what we're talking about. But she got there because she stuck to the plan. She sponsored she taught her people to sponsor, the ones that were willing. Everybody's not going to be willing. But she continued to work that two-year plan. If you work the two-year plan and you continue to teach your people to do the two-year plan, it's going to build such longevity in your business that that's the type of wealth that you can build. But I can promise if you can stick to that plan, I guess I can't promise, but if you stick to that plan, and you actually do it, you are going to see such momentum and such growth that you're absolutely going to double whatever you're making right now, if not quadruple. All of us are living proof of it. But just like what Whitney just said, 
She stuck to the plan regardless of what others were doing. Her blinders were on. She had goals. She didn't want to have to do that many home parties. She wanted to be able to have the freedom to not have to go do all that stuff. And she wanted to be with her kids. She had her blinders on and she was doing her. And it didn't matter what anybody else was doing. It doesn't matter. They don't pay her bills. They don't feed her family. Two by two by two will change everything. You want to know a secret to help create momentum to start that two by two by two rule. Ignite. Here it is again. So I'm so savvy with my ignite. Ignite your focus and extinguish your distractions. Ignite your focus and extinguish your distractions. If that means that you need to go unfollow all of the Scentsy people, then go do it. Then go do it. And you can like hide them from your feed. You don't, what happened? What did that go away? Something just happened. Um, you don't have to actually unfollow them, but you can. If it's messing with your peace, unfollow them. Peace out, Girl Scout. Bye, protect your peace. But if you find yourself being distracted by all the noise, Lord Jesus, unfollow them or hide them. If you're scrolling through your feed and all you're seeing is sensey people, you already need to go do that because you're not seeing new customers. The algorithm thinks that we want to see each other's stuff because we're all posting about the same stuff. But ignite your focus and extinguish your distractions. So your focus, PRV, your focus, sponsoring. If you want a big business or you want to have a bright future, you must ignite your life with action. Action is what is going to bring you success. Parties aren't going anywhere, guys. I don't care what anybody else says. I don't care that a lot of my people don't really want to do them. I don't. I, I. I have to. I have to not care because I've got to figure it out. They're not going anywhere. They're just not. I don't care what other people on the internet say. They're not going anywhere. That's how people are going to meet each other. And you know, like we went through this whole like crazy time with COVID where nobody could get together and nobody could do anything. I think we're about to see a shift and we're about to go right back to it because people are actually getting back together at people's houses. People are actually willing to like go to do like a open house or to have a girls night or to meet up places. At the end of the day, your action is getting fragrance under people's noses. It is amazing for us to be on our stories and on social media for us to be sharing those things because it absolutely makes a difference. You're not going to be able to get under everybody's nose. It absolutely makes a difference. But there is absolutely nothing like them holding that tester or them opening that washer with and smelling something. Smells are so connected to our memories. They are a full body emotion. We're so blessed to work with something like that. Smell is never going away unless you had COVID and then it came back and then it's all like weird. Like that was the weirdest things ever happened. Never, no one ever thought that was gonna happen. But everybody smells things. Nobody really wants to smell bad. The first thing people notice when they walk into your home is how it smells. We have products that people use every single day. Make it easier for them to buy from you. Make, them, make you their choice. And once that happens, fix their problem. This economy is awful, guys. We need to be sponsoring and blessing all of the people Bless all these people, guys. And I don't want you to go out and be like crazy if you see somebody say, saying they don't have gas money. Don't be slimy like that. But you know. You know those people that need to be blessed by this. There is somebody sitting in bed tonight praying for this opportunity. Praying. And I get emotional about it because I like I like can't even talk about it. There are people sitting at home praying for an opportunity like this. And if what right do we have to not ask them? What right do we have to not bless them with this opportunity and to give them the unlimited potential of 
bettering their life or just putting freaking food on their table. That's where we're at. That's where a lot of people are. And when I joined, that's where I was. A lot of people, when I joined back in 2015, were that way. They needed a side hustle. Side hustles are back and full flowing. And you may see people say, not an MLM, not this, not that. Girl, bye. Bitch, everybody's selling on social media. Just get with the program. You just want, you're just trying to say that because since he's whatever, since he is an absolute amazing, reputable company, haters going to hate. Keep, keep sipping on that haterade over there and we'll be over here slinging wax and making money and making everything smell good. And you're going to sit over there on your couch bitching about how your house smells like cigarettes. But Sorry, that was a rant for another day. But I'm just saying that we have something that can bless people beyond measure. And so if there's anything that I want you to take from this tonight, guys, is focus on blessing the people. Focus on sponsoring. The more you make it about blessing these people that need this, the more you are going to be blessed. Doing the simple things over and over, repeatedly, and long enough. So you got to do them over. They're simple. You're going to do them repeatedly. You're going to do them a lot. You're going to do them for a long period of time. That can ignite the compound effect. If you don't know what the compound effect is, look it up. I don't have time to explain it right now, and I'd probably get it all messed up. But it basically just means that you're building upon all of your actions and all of your habits. The more that you continue to do all of those things, the more things that are going to continue to flow to you. The more habits that it, once you get your five by five down, this is going to become so ingrained in you that you're not even going to have to think about it. This is that's I did this every single day, Monday through Friday, never even had to think about it. And I would come home and do the other things in my business. So Simple things. You got a party. You've got to meet new people. You've got to increase your Scentsy Club subscriptions. Um, sorry, I'm just reading some of this paper off of the workstation to see if there's any other ideas. Um, if you aren't sponsoring, you can't expect your team to sponsor, period. You have to lead from the front. You have to go first. If you aren't partying, they're not going to party. If you're not sponsoring, they're not going to party or sponsor. You have to go first and you have to lead the way and show the way. Don't gatekeep it. Don't gatekeep it. There is no such thing as scarcity around here. There's new people every single day. But just know if you don't ask somebody to join, I'm going to. I'm going to. Ask everybody always because if you don't ask them, I will. Because I promise you, you're, no one's died from hearing the word no. I mean, I guess maybe if they were told they couldn't have like, just couldn't stop the bleeding or something. But nobody has died from being told no. The only difference between where you're sitting right now and where you want to go is the amount of no's that you're going to hear. And um, Courtney Reyes said something, she was on our world tour and she said something really great about if you're really scared to send that message, number one, that means you need to do it. Number two, send the message and walk away. Absolutely. I do that all the time. You send the message, you ask the question, put your phone down and walk away and pretend it never happened. Like just disassociate. It's fine, guys. Just disassociate. It's fine. But also, you, I would be asking so many people, I wouldn't even notice when people told me no. I wouldn't even notice when people were ghosting me. Take the emotion out of it. They're not telling you no. They're just saying no to the opportunity. The waitress doesn't get pissed at you that you don't want dessert. She was just offering it to you. Offer it to everyone and they get to choose. We don't have the right to make the decision for someone else. Okay. Um, I feel like I'm just going on and on at this point. But once again... To close everything up, 
February, we need to focus on our business. Focus on our business. Um, there's also a document in the workstation called the five key areas of focus. I'm actually going to post that as well. And I'm going to post a, um, this right here is really great. You probably haven't seen it because I hadn't seen it, but it's really, really good. Um, I'm just going to explain something to you really quick. It gives you actual action steps on different areas that you need to focus on in your business. And at the end of the day, everybody needs to be focused. Everybody has weaknesses in all of these, but it literally walks you through where you need to start and how you need to focus on it. Are you struggling with PRV? Are you struggling with TWV? Are you struggling with GWV? Are you struggling with active frontline? Are you struggling with first generation directors? Let me tell you something. Your active frontline, even though the minimum's three, it ain't three. Three ain't the goal. I can promise you that. Three ain't the goal. Three ain't it. I actually have Jen Audette told us, I guess what I guess it was her goal, or maybe y'all remember it was that summit that I took out my notebook. And anything that Jen Audette says, I literally am like a psycho. I listen to every single thing. Okay. When she noticed like a big jump in her paychecks, she had 250 frontline and 70 active frontline. You ain't getting to 250 by only asking one person a month. That's going to take you 17 years. Okay. Okay, well, you're going to be in love with her. Um, frontline was 250 and 70 active frontline. And I can't remember exactly what she said before that because, you know, I was right really, really fast. But she said massive action equals massive, massive success. She, that's what she said right before that. And um, that was when she saw like a big jump in her paycheck or she felt really sustainable or whatever. Frontline 250, 70 active frontline. And that means consistently. That doesn't mean hitting in the, at the last day of the month at the end of fall, you know? Um, and another statistic that they usually say, if you have a healthy active frontline, is that if le at least half of your total frontline is active. Because you cannot count on if you want if you're trying to be paid at title and you only got three frontline and you counting on them people you might as well hang it up girlfriend bye go find some more people because that is not going to work forever the people that got you to where you're at ain't going to be the ones to keep you there and if you, if I'm the first one telling you that I am sorry I hope I'm glad you heard it now because it's never going to go away because the people that got you to SSD ain't going to be the ones that keep you there the people that get you to director aren't going to be the ones that keep you there and if you want to build longevity in this business you can never stop sponsoring. Never. You can't. You still have leadership um, requirements that you have to abide by. You can never stop sponsoring. I'm not saying you got to work yourself into the ground forever and ever. Amen. But you have to work. You still have to sell. Still have to talk to people. And you guys, all these people that are so far in our like great grandma upline, they show up at every event. They're there, they're present, they're still working. They are the epitome of Sensi Spirit, most of them. Um, and they're leading from the front. And you know what they're doing? They're sharing all these tips with people like us to bring us to the top because that's how I learned. I trained myself on people like Katie Farner and Christina Stainbrook and Jen Aldette and Becca Levi and all the people that were putting all their things out there. So at the end of the day, I want you to ignite your focus on the things that matter. Take action, not just training. I am a firm believer in personal development, meaning listening to something that's going to feed your brain. A lot of times for me, that does mean a training. But if you find listening to a training is going to fill your, fill your brain with all the other things that you have to go do, don't let yourself listen to it. Listen to something that's going to make you motivated. 
listening to a lot of people, sometimes their voice just pisses me off. And you just can't listen to them. But I can promise you, if you want to grow in this business, almost everything and anything that you want to know is on YouTube. It wasn't there when I was coming. But <laughs> focus on basics. Fragrance, people, solve problems. Don't ever be the smartest person in the room. Absolutely. Don't ever be the smartest person in the room. If you think you're the smartest person in the room, you need to... I'm not going to say what you need to do. Anyway... I hope that you guys found value in this. Does anybody have any questions? Let me. And I actually, um, those are the, dang, it's not going to work. Hold on. That, and I know y'all can look these up on the on the workstation, but I was just trying to be helpful. When I post, whenever um, we get the recording, I will post in the description the links and stuff. I'm actually going to make a folder and just, I'll give you guys my notes too. So you have the quotes or whatever else um, once I clean them up. Um, but I hope that was helpful, guys. Um, know that I'm not perfect. I don't have all the answers. We all learn from each other. I'm over here preaching to myself, so don't ever think that I'm over here saying a bunch of things. I never, none of us SSDs are going to ask you to do things that we aren't willing to do ourselves. Do you have, do y'all have any questions? I feel like y'all are all quiet. Okay, guys. Well, why don't you go ignite? Kind girls rule the world. Yes. Kind girls rule the world. Love y'all. Go ignite your focus and build that business. Love y'all. Mean it.